Okay. Good morning, Herman. Good morning. How are you doing this week? I'm doing fine, thanks. How okay. are you? Perfect. I'm very good, thank you. Very busy, very good. So it's going to be an intense week and it's very, very hot weather here by us at the moment. Uh, Which I suppose not is, not, is not really, really much the same in Iceland, right? <laughs> well, it's, it's, uh, it's not cold, but it's raining. We just have rain every day now, so... Ah, uh, right. Uh, it's so hot here. We are going to have up to 38 Celsius today. So it's really, really hot. Right, let's dive uh, immediately into the yeah. subject of today, the topic yeah, of the day, that's hot. homeworks, which I think a lot of, uh, uh, probably also teachers, but mainly uh, parents are going to be very, very interested about and hearing your opinion. I know a little bit already what, what's your opinion about it, and you have been already speaking about it, but uh, let's dive straight into it. So homeworks, good or bad? Damaging pressure, school thing they need to put on students. So go yeah. straight in and tell me what is your opinion about homeworks? Well, the short version is, is uh, I'm against it. Um, well, at least as it's used today, as, as uh, schools use it today, uh, then I'm against it, yes. Uh, and uh, you, you can Google and you can find a lot of studies about homework and, and, and uh, what people say about this. Does it work or does it, uh, or does it, does it work or don't it work? Uh, what's, what's interesting for me is every time you're reading about homework, you know, is, does it work and, and if it works, you know, how does it work? It's always from the perspective of the school. Does it work for the school, you know, mm -hmm. to have the homework? And f f what I'm always missing in this uh, discussion is the perspective of, of our parents because... Uh, us, the parents, we have also an agenda. We also want to teach our children something, you know. And, and um, like we talked about, I think, two weeks ago, you were talking about parents that said, you know, what if I don't have time, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. You have to always have to have time for your children. And, and when it comes to people have really busy schedules, you know, work a lot and the kids, uh, they go to school and then they go to school. And for me, if, if I'm one of those busy parents and I come home and I have a choice, I can choose to sit down and talk to my uh, children and, you know, communicate with them to hear how they're feeling, what's, uh, what they're thinking about, how the day was and everything like that. If, if I have a choice uh, between that or say telling them, you know, sit down and do your homework, I will always choose 100% certain that that will help them better, that will prepare them better for the world than the homework will. That's Definitely. just just one side of it. Well, what I would also just uh, you know make clear for one second, uh, you said at the beginning that from the perspective of schools, homeworks are working, which I also wouldn't totally agree. Like, what do you mean exactly by that? Because I have my own opinion, and I, I see that not always that helps especially students, maybe helps teacher to, you know, keep track of what they give to students to make home. And they can, you know, definitely see that the next day, who is the student that did or didn't make their homework. But to say that it helps, for me, is a completely different <coughs> thing. Because to help has to be an added value to the students as well. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and I'm, not saying, I'm not saying when I'm talking about the, of the perspective of schools that that it's uh, helping. I'm, I'm just saying that some articles you, you read, when they say that, uh, that homework is working, they are writing it from the perspective of the schools. But I totally agree. I don't think that uh, homework is working for the, uh, for the children. There's so many things that homework uh, does uh, for children that is, that, are, that, are, that is bad. For, for example, we were talking about keeping the interest uh, for, for kids in school. You know, you have to be interested in learning. You have to be, you know, keep your curiosity and everything like this. When you're, when you're giving kids homework, you are uh, just gradually breaking down that interest. You're, you're making them work at home when they should have a free time when they should be you know enjoying being kids you're making them doing homework mm -hmm. and you're always making them you know want less and less to learn those things that, that that you actually want them to learn that's one of the things another thing is the culture that you're making because school is work for children just as you and me we have work you know we go to work every day and then we come home when we come home from work do we take our work with us are we sitting home in the kitchen working uh, you know after after working hours a lot of people do this, this, and that's a culture that you're creating by sending homework with your children. That's just home 
homework is just work after hours, just as you need. And, and, and I think that's a culture that we should stop right there in the school. We should always say, when you're finished at work, if you finish at four o'clock, you just close the door, you shut the door, you go home and you think about yourself, you think about your family and you concentrate on them. That's the culture every family should have. We have to start by showing kids children that this is your working hour when you're in school and then it stops. I you totally agree home. about it. I totally agree because it's something that we created, you know, especially the last decade or, or 15 years since the you know, beginning of uh, technology and smartphones and everything that we're always connected and work gets more and more into the family and into the family yeah. time, taking time from the family. So definitely that's something that we should really be aware about as parents, as adults. And uh, I, as you're saying, don't, you know, make it as a normal thing into our culture because it's really, you see so many people and so many parents which are present physically but disconnected mentally because they are on yeah. their phone or connecting or answering the, the phone call from the boss or from the client or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I've been through it, honestly, 100%, because uh, back in, you know, a couple of years ago when I was an uh, entrepreneur with my company, etc., I've been so busy all the time that even in the park, maybe staying with, the, with my kids in the park and the, the playground, I was most of the time on the phone and uh, yeah. it's absolutely wrong. So we should really, yeah. you know, act yeah. uh, towards it and, uh, and try to change this because uh, kids growing up with this image of parents being so busy, like we, we like, yeah. you know, to, to show to everyone, it's, it's going yeah. to be something that is going to be imprinted in their mind and they're going to grow up with it and they're going to, of course, repeat it as many, many other things. Yeah. yeah. And, and to connect this topic to the topic last time, you know, about the values of, of the parents, because a lot of uh, teachers, they know this and they don't want to, you know, send homework with, uh, with <coughs> home with children, but they are pressured by the parents because parents say, you are not sending enough homework. We need homework because they think that if they get more homework, they will be better at school. They will get higher grades and get a better job and be more happy. You know, this, it's, it's all connected, you know, and, 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 and uh, we have to stop it. And I know a lot of teachers that, that say, you know, I am regularly just pressured by parents that say, I need more homework for my, my child. They don't understand, you know, and, you know, they don't understand what's going on and what's best for the children and, and, and their values are yeah, not, not aligned with my values, at least. So, Absolutely. so. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And also something that uh, reminds to me uh, when, when you talk about it, about this theme of homeworks, I remember being in uh, New Zealand. So that was back in, uh, what was it? July and August last year. And uh, yeah. with the family, the kids have been uh, actually active in a school, in a Hare Krishna school for eight weeks. And was this uh, teacher, Dharma. And uh, yeah. there are interviews and everything online on, on our site. And, um, and the fact that he was saying he never gave homeworks, never to the kids. But what he was really saying, very, very interesting, is that kids, that they are uh, so much engaged and so much loving what they do in school, they were actually autonomously and, and uh, willing to go home and go deeper into that subject and taking books and looking into, you know, internet, whatever, to, to find out more information about that uh, particular subject because they were loving it and they wanted to go into it. Like we do, yeah. for example, if you, you know, you, you cut from, uh, from work, you go home, and if you have a nice book you want to read or something you want to see or a documentary, unless you are completely, you know, uh, whatever, don't want to say any bad word, but what many people are doing just, you know, uh, knocking their, themselves off in front of the TV every night for four hours. But if you are active and you want to learn something, you do it because you, you love to do it. And kids yeah. in New Zealand, he was saying this, that his teacher, that very often they would come the next day or after a week or whatever with the researches they did home that he didn't require. He didn't, you know, request anything from kids, no homeworks at all. But no. kids were so much loving it and so much loving that subject. They were coming with works they had done at home which is yeah. I think that's an accomplishment when you have kids so much loving what they do at school that they go on and they take it home. And that's exactly what we were talking about before about the, about the, the, the school, what, how they should you know, keep the children curious and everything like that. Because learning something because you're interested in it, because you're, you know, you're curious, you want to know it, is a totally different learning from learning something because you are supposed to read this because a teacher told you you should do this, you know. That's not the same learning. So a great teacher like this one, it sounds like a great teacher, he, you know, he makes the children curious about it. He makes them want to know something more instead of, you know, you have to do this and this and this. It's a totally different learning. 
And, and I know this from my own experience. I know uh, my son, for example, uh, I always said to him, I, you know, I don't want you to make homework. If, if, the, if the teacher sent you homework, just give it to me and I will send it back to the teacher and say, I don't want you to do this at home. Mm -hmm. He was always, always researching and finding out something at home because he wanted to know it, not because the teacher told him that he had to do it. And this, it, that's, that's the difference, you know. And I think it's important also to say about this because I, I'm pretty sure that many parents, they, they will hear what you're saying and what you are say, we are saying and think like, wow, that's something, uh, you know, fantastic, great, but it's utopic. And it's not something, something unreachable. It's not something that you have to, you know, completely change everything upside down. It's simply what we were saying also last week that you, we have to be able to keep the passion and the, the, the curiosity of kids alive by sustaining what they are interested in and not by you know flattening up everything and then just trying to give them and feed them with information all the same like they would be all exactly the same one to the other so yes. i think we touched pretty much the the most important thing so definitely herman you are very much against uh, homeworks we understood that <laughs> and i totally agree and uh, homeworks when we talk about homeworks and we intend them as it is nowadays in uh, mainly in most of the schools so I thank you again for, the, for your intervention today. And uh, well, we're gonna see next week with the subject, I'm not prepared, leave me a second. Okay, which is role modeling of parents and teachers. Kids learn by example. Are we good role models for our children? And this is what we're gonna be talking about next week with you on Thursday. So I, uh, I wish everyone a very nice day and to yourself as well, Herman. Thank you very much again and see you next week. Thank you, same to you. Thank you.